Welcome to Hindustan Times. We're joined by a special guest, Ruben Truppelman, the man who set the World Cup alight in many ways with an outstanding first award for Namibia and the Super 12s. Ruben's joining us live from Dubai. Ruben, uh, begin by asking you many congratulations first, and uh, I I'm sure you must have got a truckload of congratulatory messages. Yeah, no, my phone's been busy the past uh, 24 hours. I'm um, really appreciating the support from everyone. Um, it's an awesome time for us in the as a country and especially for my over, well, my spell I bowled um, yesterday. It was awesome. Mm. Uh, you played your formative uh, years at Northerns. Uh, anyone who plays that we know? Um, well, I knew Albi Morko obviously from that time to the Titans. Um, I know a few of them going around the circles there, um, but no one particular in, that I um, can mention at this stage. Yeah, but, but the family must be delighted, uh, not just that over, not just this game, the whole World Cup experience, the way things have uh, shaped up. Yeah, it's been awesome. My dad and my granddad have been here at the World Cup the whole time, so they're thoroughly enjoying it. But I've received a lot of support from my family, my mom and uh, my other grandparents as well, especially, and family, cousins. Um, so it's really awesome for us um, just going out there, getting the exposure and, yeah, loving every moment of it. It's awesome. I mean, you don't dream of such a first over, do you? You wouldn't have. <laughs> Those stuff you don't dream about, you just, um, sometimes someone mentions it and then you say, yeah, that'll be cool. And then you go on, um, that was something phenomenal. It hasn't really sunk until this, mo this morning what really happened. Um, I was like in the game, you're just busy, you're just trying to get the game done. You focus on the game and afterwards you're trying to process what happened. And it was just like thinking back, looking back at that moment. Um, it's just something I can't really explain to you. Mm. The most uh, dramatic uh, five minutes of your life so far? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think ch a life changing potentially, um, all of that. It's um, awesome. I really, really loved it. Um, and yeah, it's, hopefully I get a clip or two of, the, of my spell that I can rewatch it a few times just to soak in all the stuff going around me. Um, because you are, while you're in the moment, you're just um, pumped and ready to go for the next, next ball. So tell me what were you what were you what was running through your mind when you're running into bowl the first uh, delivery of the Super Twelves for Namibia? Um, well, obviously I had to hit my straps quickly. We had a game plan and wanted to stick to that. Um, and luckily for me, it came off nice with a um, with a wicket first up of Manzi. He's a real good player and a real threat from Scotland. Um, so that just gave us the upper hand. And from there on, I saw the ball was swinging around a bit, and I just knew I had to stick to my guns. Um, practice wall, put training into practice, and um, that's what I did. I knew I was at the bit to swing the ball back into the right-hander, and uh, luckily for me, it came off yesterday, and it's just one of those days. It doesn't happen often, and yeah. Is that generally what you look to do, try and swing the ball first up when you get the new cherry, even in a T20 game? Yeah, um, I always look for a bit of swing around there. I think it's part of my skill set I have. It's something I've had from a young younger age. Um, at first, I was afraid to bowl, um, swing the ball because I just swung it too much, couldn't control it. But I've learned over time how to control it. And if it's going around like I did last night, um, you just want to use it to your, um, to your advantage. So, yeah, that's just that, that's just what happened. Two wide down leg, the ball just went more than I expected. And uh, like, like, correct my lines and got the lines right. So that's awesome. So after that first wicket, you ended up getting two more. Uh, surely you might have thought uh, running in with a hat-trick ball, it might be my day as well. <laughs> uh, those type of things only come around once in a lifetime, I believe. I haven't taken a hat-trick in my life, so that would have been the first one. But at that stage, it wasn't even on my mind. I just wanted to uh, get the, get through my over and uh, maybe just get us through this power play. I think it's important to have a good start. We've got the three wickets, but it's now part of the process just to finish our over off nicely. Um, so at that stage, the trick wasn't really going through my head. I think it's just next ball, next ball, next ball, to be honest. And, and, and you finished off the spell well, the match went off well. Uh, you know, what's the sort of mood like in the camp uh, you know, after registering the first victory? Um, well, mood in the camp is very good. Uh, we've well, three games on the bounce we won now, so that's awesome. Going forward, I think, um, get, well, coming into the tournament, we always, our goal was to get into Super 12s, and um, we did that, we believe, in our ability, and now we've won our first game. 
we've beaten all the associ- well, the best associate nations now. So for us, that's a massive plus point. And going on now, we've got four big games against four four big nations, and we excited for the opportunity to play against them, learn a few stuff, and definitely make the time as hard as possible as we can. Um, maybe even causing an upset or two. We're not yet to hang around. Um, we definitely need to play cricket. And yeah, that's just what or how, or how we approach the game. Um, we're not going to die wondering. So yeah. A lot of people are not looking past India, Pakistan and New Zealand. Uh, it's an opportunity for uh, teams like yours to prove them wrong. Yeah, definitely. Um, they've got quality players, big names, um, but we come with a bit of un- um, the unknown and um, the T20 game, anyone can win the game. It takes one player to destroy a team and that's how it is. So if it's our day, it's our day. If it's their day, it's their day. It's their day. Um, all you can do is just be the best you can be and uh, take any um, every opportunity you get. So hopefully in the games, um, we, we can be competitive and give them a run for their money. And if it's our day, it's our day. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be going hard at it. Uh, there's been a bit of, uh, there's always been a South African influence around the Namibia cricket team. And tell us a bit about it, working with Albi and David Visa was along and uh, you know, generally learning from the neighboring country. Yeah, um, well, I was born and raised in South Africa myself. Um, so I've been in the stru- um, structure in South Africa for 20 years. We recently moved over. Um, but the South Africans, they've got a great cricketing culture with the phenomenal coaches and players. Um, and a small nation like Namibia with only two and a half million people, um, you sometimes need some outside influence just to raise the bar. And um, luckily for us, we have the expertise of Obi Morkel and Pierre De Bruyne in our coaching staff. Um, they're phenomenal um, people, phenomenal coaches, and you learn so much from them. Um, and someone like David Bisa is a massive addition to our team, having played around the world, um, seen the world, um, experienced a bit of T20, T20, um, T20 tournaments. Um, it just gives us this, um, a young, aspiring team, just a little bit of confidence, a little bit of experience, someone we can talk to, bounce a few ideas, and that's invaluable um, information that it adds to our uh, um, arsenal and our team. Uh, Robin, can you give us a sense of you know the scale of, or the enormity of the achievement that Namibia has you know, been doing well in the World Cup means I mean when you first joined hands with the team how different was the cricket setup how small a cricket setup was it and and why and why does this mean a lot more well we've got 16 contracts straight through the whole country um, professional contracts that people get paid to play cricket um, we train at one cricket facility and that said, we've got, I think there's eight, was, was between six and eight turf nets and we just have to make use of it for all year. There's no other options of a different place to go train it. And I think this just helps us put maybe on the map, um, takes us forward. Um, it's our first ever T20 World Cup we at and we've already won three games. So hopefully we can get a few more. I think the awareness level and um, funding obviously is massive for us. Um, going forward and just producing the next stars. So hopefully the next few stars coming through are all from Namibia itself. We've got a few promising youngsters coming through. Um, if they can get the right um, facilities and the right coaches, um, there's endless possibilities for what can happen with Namibia Cricket. It's an awesome place. We've got brilliant um, board members and awesome CEO with great coaches. So we've got everything in place for us to go forward of where we are and it's not being a one-time thing, doing it again, the next World Cup in Australia next year, as well as potentially ODI status once again. And who knows what the possibilities can be going forward. Uh, last couple of things, one on your bowling. Uh, anything else that you bank on, which are the sort of uh, you know phases in the T20 game that you prefer bowling to? Do you work on your variations as well? Um. I see myself as I'm quite a skillful bowler. I've bowled a few variations, including the cutter. And um, yeah, so in T2 cricket, you can't be too predictable, unfortunately, um, especially going to the end of the innings. People start lining you up. The analysis of um, teams become phenomenal. We saw that against Sri Lanka, where they didn't know much of us, but they used all the information they got and they executed their game plans. And that's just the way cricket is going. So. For me as a bowler, you always need to sharpen up your skills um, and just um, add a few new, well, a few more tricks up your sleeve um, because that's just how it is. Um, cricket's unfortunately a, a batsman's game. As a bowler, always at the receiving end of it. 
Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's an awesome format just to play in. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, any 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 scout that you're particularly vying for now that you know with this confidence from this game, some of the big boys that you're gonna face off against? Well, I reckon any sculpt going forward from you will be a great sculpt. Um we're playing in States Nations. Um I don't wanna single out anyone because there's plenty of great players out there. Um the Pakistani lineup and the Indian lineup and New Zealand lineup, even the Afghan team has really produced a few quality players going forward. And for me, it's just going out, enjoying the moment. Um, and whatever we could I take, I'll celebrate as hard as I can. All right. Go well, uh, Ruben. Thanks so much for your time. May you prove to be giant killers. That'll be Thank exciting. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.